So I'm not sure about this product yet, uh, whether I will use it as a highlighter or as a blush. This is the Sicily La Roche D blusher in rose. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Makeup generally falls into four categories. Uh, the most affordable being your drugstore makeup. Next up would be your mid-range. After that, you have your high-end. And then the last category would be your luxe or luxury makeup. On my channel, I generally feature more mid-range to high-end makeup products. So today I'm going to be doing a luxury makeup tutorial. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Missy. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so you never miss a video from me. And let's just jump right into this Ultra Lux makeup tutorial. You should always prep your skin before applying makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and do my skin prep right before applying all this makeup for you guys. This is a Dr. Roebuck hydrating serum. I'm applying the serum before my moisturizer. This serum has hyaluronic acids, peptides, and coenzyme 10. Okay. Just use my fingers to massage it in. For moisturizer, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is the 1.6 ounce one. I'm just going to tap some all over my face. This cream is very, very thick and it smells so good. So I'm not gonna be mentioning the prices um, of these products uh, today because I just feel like it's a waste of time. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my under eye with a Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. I featured this on my last video um, and I think it is sold out uh, right now on Becca's website but it really helps to like blur the fine lines under your eye. For primer, I'm gonna be going in with the Hourglass Veal Mineral Primer. This primer color corrects, it minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and pores as well. And it has SPF 15. So this is the two ounce one that I have and it will have more of like a lavender cast. Um, and so purple corrects dark spots or aging spots, uh, if you will. There you go. For foundation today, I'm going in with this La Mer foundation. This is a hydrating foundation. It is a buildable to medium coverage foundation. It has SPF 20. It does help to minimize the appearance of uh, fine line wrinkles and skin imperfections. I picked it up in shade 460 Arsena. So this is for deep skin with warm undertone. So it's one of those serum foundations. Uh, so you just need to shake it before applying it. And so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna tap it all over my face. So I'm just gonna blend it out. Okay, so that's how that looks. What do you guys think? You can build it up a bit more if you'd like, but we're gonna leave it right here, okay? Because today I'm killing one bird with two stones. I'm going out afterwards and I don't really wanna look overly made up. Let's move on to eyes and I'm gonna prime my eyes with this Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer. I don't really know how much it costs. I'm sure you guys can look it up. And you always wanna set your concealer or eyeshadow primer in place with just some translucent setting powder, or you can use a very light eyeshadow. For eyeshadows today, I'm gonna to be going in with the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Mothership Palette. This is what it looks like inside. And I'm gonna use this shade right here as my transition shade. This is called Entrapment. You can see, oh, this is... <laughs> So pigmented. I'm gonna deepen up my outer C with this shade right here. It's called Disobedient. And I'm really gonna keep this like right on the outer C, okay? Okay, there you go. And we can blend out the outer edges with the first brush. All right, I'll do the other eye off camera. So I'm gonna add a bit of this shade right here to my lid, and it's called Bronze Blaze. And I feel like the best way to apply sh shimmers is with your fingers. 
but you can always use a brush to clean it up, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, so that's how that looks. I'm going to highlight my inner corner with the shade right here. It's called Astro Luna Gold. And this is the sh super shimmery. But that's how we look. If you want it to be a little extra, you can go ahead and add a bit of that same shade that you use in your inner corner right on your lid right here. We're not going to do that today, um, but you could do that. And you can do more if you want to. It's all up to you. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyeliner. So uh, for eyeliner, I'm going to go in with the Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner, and this is an intense black. Okay, I'll go ahead and do the other eye off camera. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows before applying my lashes and mascara. This is the Laura Mercier Sketch and Intensify Brow Pomade and Powder Duo. And this is in the shade uh, Brunette. So I'm just going to grab a bit of this pomade and then the powder and you just fill in your brows. So that's how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit off camera and I'll do the other brow as well. My brows are done. Let's move on to the mascara. And for mascara, I'm going to go in with Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. So let's we'll go ahead and comb the hair downwards. That helps to coat all of the lashes with the mascara and then comb upwards, okay? For lashes, I'm gonna go in with these Velour Lashes in Flawless. I wear these all the time. I'm gonna do a little contouring, so I'm going in with this Oma Beauty Double Take Contour Stick and this is in Brown Sugar or number three. And then we'll do just a little nose contouring today. And that's a lot of product, so I'm wiping some off of the brush. The behind the scene things that big YouTubers don't show you. And just bring it up into your brows, and that just helps to make it look a little bit more uh, natural. And so I'm just gonna do a small amount over here here and that looks good enough let's do a little bronzer and I'm going in with one of my new faves uh, the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer I like this bronzer because it's very light you can build it up if you want to but it's just one that you can just swipe on and go out and it's not going to give you like a ton of product in like one swipe it really does give you that flawless airbrush kind of finish okay that's how that's looking you forgot the concealer i'm going to highlight my inner corner and down the center of my nose with this highlighter stick right here or concealer it's by terry and this is the stylo expert click stick in the shade number 15 or golden brown. And for the rest of my face, I'm gonna be going in with this Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. And this one is in the shade Teak. Okay, so down the center of my nose and my inner corner. Maybe right here. And then this is the Hourglass Concealer. It's a full coverage concealer. You don't need a lot, or maybe you do. Um, I, I don't. If you've watched my concealer tips and tricks video, less is more. Okay, and so that's that hourglass concealer. So three little dots is plenty. There you go. And I'm going to use a smaller brush to get down the center of my nose. I'm going to set my under eye with this Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder and this is in the shade yellow. It's one of my new faves as well. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with this Laura Mercier translucent powder and this is in medium deep. That's it. I basically set my T-zone. I don't really see the need to set anywhere else since it's more normal skin. 
Let's do a little bit more bronzer since we lost some of that. I'm not sure about this product yet, uh, whether I will use it as a highlighter or as a blush. This is the Sicily La Roche D blusher in rose. This is the second most expensive blusher uh, in the world. The most expensive is a few million dollars. Uh, this is not even close, um, but we'll see. So that's what it looks like inside. And I'm gonna grab a bunch on this brush and let's attempt to use this as a blusher okay so uh, this is more of a highlighter on my complexion but oh that is pretty okay uh, it just gives you like a natural glowy skin finish if I could uh, describe this that is gorgeous. Oh. I don't think I need a blusher. So I'm going to use this as my highlighter and my uh, blusher. What do you guys think? I know it's not like blind the haters, um, but this is the kind of thing that I love. Um, just soft, minimal. I like to accentuate my features um, rather than have like products like sticking out. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I love this. No blusher today. Let's move on to lips. And for lips today, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner and Pillow Talk Intense. Just gonna line my lips. And for lipstick, you might want to sit down. So I kept it in the box. Uh, this is the Christian Louboutin lipstick. And so this is in the shade Jalousie. And so <laughs> that's how it looks. I featured this on my TikTok and I had a lot of internet trolls uh, saying different things. Oh my God, I hate to say this, but you're just paying for the name. There's so many other cheaper brands out there. First of all, uh, I have a lot of lipsticks from all of the major brands out there. Uh, and then it was just like, how do you know that the quality sucks? Did you actually buy the lipstick and compare it to something else? Um, but anyway, here we are. So. That's how that looks. So you guys know how I do this. I'll go ahead, get dressed, come back, do my setting spray, and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. I'm back, guys, and the look is done. Let's move on to setting spray. And for setting spray today, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray, and this is in White Tea of Bali. I'm gonna give my face a good spray. So for my final thoughts, most of these products are products that I have on hand. The only product that I've never really used before would be the Sicily blusher. And I know some people will probably take issues uh, with me buying a blusher that's that expensive. It was a little bit of a struggle for me uh, to do the luxury makeup tutorial um, because although I use these products on a daily uh, basis, I know that a lot of people really have uh, different opinions as far as spending money on expensive makeup products. And then there's a drugstore controversy that's going on right now as far as big YouTubers, okay? They feature drugstore makeup. But what a lot of beauty insiders are saying that these guys do not reach for those drugstore makeup products on a daily basis, okay? So you have to ask yourself, are people being honest. This is me being my authentic self. If I go out and I buy a makeup product, it's genuinely something that I have interest in. All of the makeup products that I buy, for the most part, unless it's a foundation that's just truly off, I keep it. High-end makeup products do have a higher grade of uh, quality ingredients, okay, and not a lot of fillers when you compare them to drugstore products. Um, so 
there it is. Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by to watch me do another video. Don't forget to like, follow me on all of my different social media platforms, share with all of your family and friends. Do subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I will see you on my next one.